Oh, yeah. Jack, you gonna be walking to school. <laughs> Go there. Good morning, people. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I know y'all was looking for me. I know you were. I know the race was yesterday. Don't worry about it. Gotta take my daughter to school. I don't know why. Because you gotta why. be a parent. That I don't. I don't. Why. I don't feel it's necessary to be a parent sometimes, especially on Fridays. Well, I don't, I don't, it, it happens. Well, especially now that school started. Sometimes school's overrated. You should be going to the Jamaican school anyway. You run like the Jamaican girls. That's why we here to talk about what happened yesterday. So I know y'all was waiting on me to talk about it yesterday. Since I got this whole um, 35, 40 minutes take her to school, I figured if I talk to y'all, I ain't got to listen to her Jezebel, Jacobel music, the stuff that they be liking to play. This ain't the stuff I be listening to when I be, I like to listen to Al Green. I like what I, what I did you just eat last night? Okay, first of all. Did you eat last uh, night? You know I gotta eat morning. I don't know. These folks driving crazy and this morning this traffic. I don't know. Look, folks just cut out in front of me and stuff. I that, that was not the turning line y'all was in. Can you focus uh, on the video? You over here talking uh, about Well, I gotta focus on the road too. Why I can't uh, the folks, I'm just letting the folks be in the car with us while I take you on this dog. Her school is 45 minutes uh, away. <laughs> I don't understand why in the hell we can't just go to a school around the corner. I don't understand why we can't go to a school around the corner because we don't like to track coaches at the school around the corner. Yes, we are those parents to where she going to a school because of the coaches. Jack, we ain't got time in five years to be out here like looking like the rest of the people in the races that got, that didn't, it didn't. So let's, let's just go on and get into it. And I told y'all, I told y'all, I told her, I told everybody. I told everybody, why you got me on the Snapchat? See, this ain't Snapchat, I'm on the phone. This what I had to deal with. This what I had to deal with. That's why I be going crazy in the videos because I be having to deal with this stuff all the time. Not like I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted. This is what I was trying to tell y'all back, way back at the uh, Jamaican trials now. It was Jamaican trial. what I tell y'all? I said, I said, what, go back and look at the title. The title said, Sherika is about to make everything this summer a problem. Why? Because now they have a three-headed monster. And I sat there and said they got a three-headed monster and that she carried was the only one that we had that could potentially even come close to messing with these three-headed monsters. And then what happened? She got slayed by three-headed monsters. So at this point in time, female track and field really just don't, well, let me say it right, at least in a hundred, ain't no such thing as 100 meter dash people, it ain't no more. Right now it's called the Jamaican 100 meter invitational with people who would like to line up and get beat up on. It reminds me of this one time. The year was, ooh, this one flat. I should take that back. They gonna mess my energy drink. Cause I gotta give me another one. We got time to stop? Cause this is nasty. I can't you drink can this. You can stop all you want. Yeah, this as long nasty. as we give me some food, I'm good. I, okay, cause this is nasty. I don't even know why they even put this on the shelf. This thing's so flat. I can't, I can't even do that. Anyway, like I was saying, what was I saying? I forgot. Oh, the Jamaican Invitationals. So right now, every time you go to a hundred meter to attract me, it's looking like the Jamaicans are gonna win one, two, three. Now I don't know if you even put up or if you saw what I put up on my Twitter when I did the price breakdown. I did the price breakdown of what you make at a Diamond League meet. Y'all, right now these girls is racing for all of two thousand dollars because that's what fourth place play fourth place is pay and let me say it right to look in fourth place everybody really raises for fifth place you know what fifth place pays fifth place pays fifteen hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars fifteen fifteen hundred dollars now imagine you don't did all this training you don't did all this running you don't did all this racing and you you, you spoke you Put it this way, you just left the Olympic Games and all you can make is $1,500. That's why she's going, she's not going to be racing no fourth, fifth. I'm going to send her after Jamaica if I got to. $1,500? $1,500? $1, I'm trying to tell you. We, 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 we not have no problem, period, anyway. Because, wait, them girls running is just not cute. Anyway, back to the racing. So, this is what I saw, all right? Here's what I saw in this 100 meter dash yesterday. See, when I watched the Olympic Games, right, I said, I said, hmm, I don't feel like, I don't feel like Shelly had the race 
that she wanted to have. Now, I'm not saying Shelly was supposed to win the, the 100. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, I don't think Shelly had the race that she expected to have. And if we if you think back to that finals, she was kind of pissed because she did kind of stumble a little bit, right? We can all attest to that. So what really happened was she said, I got some for that when we get to Prefontaine. And then when all of us started talking about, started talking about, you know, the race between Elaine and the race between Shakira and cut her out, she was probably sitting there like, all right, all right. Well, you know she was because in reality, Prefontaine, she jumped out on that thing like the normal and then Elaine had to catch up. I'm tell y'all what I saw. Well, what we saw, if y'all watched it together with me on, on the deal, on my uh, Instagram live. Oh, yeah, and I will be showing Paris tomorrow on my Instagram live, so go follow me on Instagram. What I saw was when Shelly Ann got out those blocks, it was 10-6 pace, and she had nothing else left in her mind. Because the last two times, the last two times they raced, what happened? Elaine did the normal Elaine, ran on by her, Okay. This time, she knew she was like, I got to go back and do what I normally do to these and take off and go far and go fast. And because she said, I got to go far and go fast, I personally believe, hold on y'all, I got a merge. Merge break. Merge break. Okay, I'm back. Now, I personally believe that When Shelly got to Lausanne, she already had it mapped out that pre, I'm going to try something out. I'm going to see what's going on. First of all, when we get to pre, we got to gang up together, all three of us Jamaicans, and we got to prove a point. Pre went not, no more than, I don't give a damn which one of us win. Let's make sure she don't get in front of any of us. That's what I saw at pre. Pre, they just didn't give a damn. Now, once they got to Lausanne, the race was back on. All right, it got dog on it. The, the the rivalry between the two new queens was back on. Elaine looked good, but then you gotta think about it. You gotta really think about it. Yeah, Elaine lost, and we didn't see that coming. But I guess you kind of gotta see it coming if it's Shelly Ann. But just think about it though. She lost with to a 10-6-0. 10-6-0. That's a respectable loss. If you're gonna lose. At least lose to somebody running damn near faster or as fast as you. I can accept that. I can definitely accept that. Definitely totally accept that. I think Sherika had a, you know, she didn't have she didn't have a solid race yesterday. You know, I saw it. You know, she was there, but she just didn't look, you know, like she was there. I think what kind of messed them up too was the lane the lane draws. With Elaine being so far away from Shelly. She couldn't see her get out that good. And because she couldn't see her get out that good, by the time she hit it to go catch her, no, come on, her normal drive phase, it was too late. Shelly was already up the street. Now, here's the crazy part you gotta think about. Brussels is a fast track, okay? It's a Mundo track. I've been to Brussels, ran on Brussels, very fast track. But Brussels still ain't Oregon or Tokyo track. And it was a slight bit cold out there yesterday. Tab and tailwind, but nothing that major. So the question is, not, now what happens is, after every single track meet, people are going, like myself, are going to wonder the what ifs. What if they was in Oregon yesterday again with that, with that race? Or what if they was in Tokyo again? Can Shelly, can Shelly now go 10 fives too? Yes, you bet your bottom dollar, Jack, she can. That was a 10 five race we saw yesterday. So right now, Jamaica got two girls running 10 five. Okay, we're just gonna switch on over. I wanna talk about that no more. I, I don't even wanna talk about that no more. Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just switch hats. Let's just, let's, let's talk about what she do, the, the hurdles. Well, she don't do 400 hurdles. She do, she do 300 hurdles. War home. War home. You know what war home is? Yeah. Didn't think you did good. Yeah. See what happens, see? They don't be caring about track and field till too late, till they get on up. When I was her age, Damn, did I know? No. I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't. I, I really didn't. I really didn't. But anyway, back to y'all. Don't worry about her. Focus on me. War home. Now, here's what happened, people. Now, the night 
Now, I won't tweet it this, but I ain't want to tweet it because I know how y'all folks like to jump on me and be like, well, you can't be changing or not, right? I had a vision, y'all. I said, I said, I'm willing to bet Warhol is either going to run stupid fast or he going to bum it. That's what I didn't want to tell myself. He either going to run stupid fast or he going to bum it. The reason why I say he going to bum it is because I felt like he was so good at the hurdles because of his, I'll go with technique. I, I'll even, I'll go with that. I will go with because of his hurdle technique. Because of his hurdle technique, because of his race pattern, it allowed his body to not slow down at all going over hurdles, okay? Meanwhile, the other people he's racing they're not switching legs from left leg to right leg. You know, they they, they doing three step same leg, stuff like that. I feel like the reason why he's so great in the hurdles is because he's making fewer mistakes than the other hurdlers in the race. That was proven yesterday in that 400 because you're naturally just a 45, 46, you know, 400 meter runner that can pull out a 44. But the reason why you can hit them hurdles so good is because, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's exactly what Edwin Moses said. Uh, I'm glad somebody tagged me there so I can watch that because that's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, but then again, I mean, now, the reason why you have people like Angelo Taylor who could, you know, split 40, 43, 44, but was 47 uh, over hurdles is because, again, like I'm saying, I think it was it wasn't the fact that people like Angelo Taylor and people like you know um, Sean Lewis, James Carter, Felix Sanchez. I think that they're hurdling. Well, they're 400 times. The reason why we're so used to seeing people when they drop from the 400 hurdles to the actual 400 and run fast is because they have actual natural fast speed, and the hurdles are slowing them down. I don't think the hurdles are slowing Warhol down. And it's almost kind of putting things into perspective from what I was saying about, you know, DNA and, and, and the makeup of the body and how our muscles are developed versus theirs. Nothing racial, but it's just biology. It's like, it's just facts. I'm like, I, I don't understand how or why Warhol is or should be beating Rye or anybody else based off genetics. We're faster, we're stronger. How is it happening? Okay, now it makes sense. It's happening if he's running more of a mistake-free race and they are not running a mistake-free race that's what i saw in that 400 yesterday that was that was off that was that was weird what else happened here today the 200 kenny kung fu kenny all right at 200 i really thought Fred was gonna win that now here's the one thing that i will say about kung fu kenny kung fu kung fu 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 kenny when he ready, you know what I mean by ready, like, you know, he when he's fresh, you know, haven't had a meet or whatever, nothing like that, Kung Fu Kenny is something to, to deal with. Jack, like, he been showing that all year long. Like, for me yesterday, it solidified that, okay, Kung Fu Kenny is a legitimate, solid, world-class 200-meter runner that he, he gonna be up there in the names with, with all the Wallace Spearmans and the Xavier Carr. He up there now. Because he just he just keep doing it over and 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 over again. Over and over and over and over again. And for me, I I haven't really gave Kenny, I'd say, enough respect because most of the time I'm like, okay, well Kenny might get second, you know, cause he cause he gotta put this together, put that together. You know, his curve is good, but he still gotta put together his straightaway. Yesterday it looked like all of it came together. Because when I seen him come off the curve, I was like, okay, Fred gonna catch him because he's in striking distance. But he did not break his form whatsoever. Kenny's actually starting to look real damn, real doggone good. I'm not even gonna lie, he's starting to look real good. I, I like yesterday, I like yesterday. But now, keeping in mind though, keeping in mind, Kenny looked good, Fred did not. Kenny, Kenny barely beat Fred. Fred is going to be a serious, serious, I'm not just saying this because, you know, I, I mean, y'all know I've been a fan of Fred since forever, forever. Fred is going to be a serious problem because every time I'm watching Fred, I'm seeing where he's making 
mistakes. And the mistakes that he's making are showcasing to me that Fred is really running off of just raw, just I'm I'm that dude. Like, I have not, I'm, I, and y'all know I'm not talking bad about Fred, but I've not, I've not seen Fred Curley put together a perfect race yet in the 100 or the 200. Not even close. Every race I've seen Fred Curley run, by my standards and what I call when I'm teaching, coaching, breaking down races and all that, Fred Curley has ran a probably about a 60% race in every race that he's ran. Well, the 100 and 200, I'll say that. It's about 60% right, which is scary because I keep telling people, Fred Curley, Fred Curley has great front side mechanics. Fred Curley still has a little bit of wild arm when he's running. Y'all can see that. And he, he still has, um, he doesn't have as much quick twitch off the ground. He's a, extremely, extremely powerful though. But if you just watch it, just watch yesterday. Watch the frequency between Kenny and the frequency between Fred. Kenny's frequency is faster. Fred's just keeping up because he's just strong as hell. Fred currently put it together and starts to look like a Usain Bolt. Fred currently going to touch 9-4. Fred currently going to touch 19-1. And Fred currently going to touch 42. I'm telling you, I just... If, if you a coach, you you ain't got to be a coach or a trainer. You need to be an athlete. You just go watch the two comparisons. You are gonna see that Fred is like you. You will find stuff in every one of Fred's races that you can say he could have did better. And when you got people, not 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 based off of like he could have ran faster, like no no he could have did better as far as race execution. When you got athletes out there that's running like that, that you can say they could have did better with race execution, and they still coming in second everywhere. Come on, Jack. <laughs> Come on, Jack. It ain't what a matter of time. It ain't what a matter of time. And then we also got to keep in mind, he just dropped down and started doing this stuff. He just dropped down and started doing these DB twos and he won. It's going to get real interesting in the future with Fred Curley. Boy, I can tell y'all that now. I can tell y'all that now. What else happened yesterday in the track meet? Was anything else eventful? We get off the dog on Snapchat, Twitter stuff. I'm talking. Talking. I'm listening. What else happened to me yesterday? I wasn't watching. You ain't no damn good for me right now. All right, y'all. I'm trying to figure it out. So she wasn't watching the track meet. Why were you watching the track meet? Oh, she was in school. My bad. That's right. Yeah, I was in school. That's right. Well, you going now? School. Don't worry about the fact that we late people. It's not about something. Let me tell y'all, sometimes it's not all the time about being on time all the time. It's about being there sometime when you need to be there all the time. You ain't got to be there all the time. Just be there sometime to get what you need to get out of it for all the time. Y'all keep that. Now, back to the track meet. We still got about, what, 15, 20 minutes to your school? Loud, we still got a long way. Yeah, we still got to get some food. Loud, and we still got to stop and get some food. Uh, yeah, pretty much overall, that whole track meet yesterday just kind of looked at it looked flat to me. Like, 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 it looked. Well, then you can't say flat when you talk about the Jamaicans. The Jamaicans, are, first of all, just making track and field. Matter of fact, let's go on, let's go on and point it out. What the Jamaicans are actually doing is showing y'all what I told y'all in way, 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 way back months ago. What was going to happen? I said these, these peoples train for the championship, is the start of their season. They going they to be ready when it's time to get to the, the games, the world championship, whatever it is. And from that moment on for the rest of the season, while everybody is tiring out and getting tired, guess what they doing? They fresh as hell, getting faster and faster and faster. So let's break it down to y'all financially what they doing, okay? Financially, they raping the game, which is smart. Here's what they doing. They saying... You can keep all those meats that's before the championship because they don't matter. Why? They don't matter. Who's paying at Miramar? Who's paying at any of these, you know, these 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 tune-up meats? Eh, nobody. So we ain't got to run fast. We'll go there and work on some stuff. And then they come and they win the big show. They take your money then. ha ha ya! Give me the big money. And then what they do is because we just came and took the big money and got the big medals for the rest of the season, we're gonna get the big appearance fees. Your money going down smoke. 
Not only are we gonna get the big appearance fees, when we show up, we also gonna take one, two, three. So now you ain't getting no money from appearance fees because we got all of it. And you racing for $1,500. At what point in time are y'all gonna realize that they treating this shit like a business and y'all still treat it like a sport? I mean, it is a sport. But at the same time, y'all know it right, cause that's when I always say lights start shining on It's a sport, but it's a business at the same time. They've understood the business side of the sport. Some of y'all still running for the fun, the love of the sport. And at this point in time, it's being showcased that the money that, you know, um, the money that's out there isn't out there because uh, Jamaica has put a stronghold on all of it. in Paris on my Instagram live again on race take y'all can watch the whole track me at this point in time I don't even know what we're looking for to happen like what are we what are we actually looking for because because right now well hell we know what's gonna happen every every track meet from here on out oh I guess if we're talking about the sprints we're just trying to see if if Elaine or Shelly, which one of them gonna be who or who gonna touch the record first? I don't know because any, any other ass, you know, ain't nothing else we looking for. Ain't nothing else that could possibly happen that's perfect. Watch it, I guess. I don't know. But, sum it all up, people. That's probably the first track meet of the season where I'd like to say about 90 point five percent of everybody was wrong literally now, i think maybe one or two of y'all had said shelly was gonna win and that's one or two out of a hundred thousand said shelly was gonna win none of y'all didn't say she was gonna win everybody including myself thought warhol was gonna do something ridiculous and he did not the 200 kind of thought fred was gonna win and he did not yeah, there's a lot of stuff that went on yesterday that um, it was just a weird track meet. It was a weird track meet. And I think what made it even more weird was the fact that all these previous track meets we've been seeing, well, then again, we saw another crazy time yesterday. I'm tired of these damn Jamaicans. Every time I want to try and make a fact about something, I can't make a fact because they come in as a denominator to mess the whole damn thing up. I want to say, well, you know, because we ain't been in Tokyo, Oregon, the times went that fast. Damn that, they ran 10-6 again. Well, you know, because people could have been traveling, legs flat. Damn that, they ran 10-6 again. I don't know no more. So, what, you know what? Don't ask me nothing else, because I told y'all how they do it, why they do it. Don't ask me nothing else about these doggone Jamaican women, because, or anybody from Jamaica. I don't want to hear about the women. I don't, well, me and we can talk about the men, because the men ain't got nothing going on right now. I'm working on getting your horn on the show, by the way. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all today, man. That's all I got. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's breaking the race down. It's like, shit, what, what more can I say? I feel like Jay-Z. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to just sound like a, you know, like like y'all got me on repeat, like every time they run. All I'm gonna start saying is I told you so. Uh, no, no, matter of fact, what I'm gonna start saying is go back and watch all my old race take from the beginning of the season and see, didn't I say this shit was gonna happen? I told y'all shit was gonna happen. I said it all year long. I said, I said, look here, y'all, I said, look here, when it's time, damn, they hit my windshield. You saw that? Damn, don't they know this windshield a thousand damn dollars that thing ain't cracked, man. You know, Mercedes don't be playing by these windshields. Oh, I should have took the Mustang. That's exactly why I should have brought the Mustang. Yeah, it just why is your damn school too far? Damn! Why you couldn't go to homeschool? 
I done schooled you, taught you, teach you some. I know geometry and history and probably the only two classes I know that's high school classes. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go. I gotta get out of school and uh, I want some food. Why you didn't say something when we was in the car the whole time that you need to eat? You know, I don't like it. You should have said something. You know, yeah, you know I said something. Man, so many it. times. I ain't heard you say nothing about no food. I ain't heard you say nothing about no food. They don't feed y'all school, homo? I don't eat that. They don't get out of the square pizza. I don't eat that. Yeah. That's disgusting. Why? I too much grease on it. Y'all, you got you, you got you supposed to take the paper towel and damp it. That's doing too much. It's too nasty. All right, y'all.